Tigers 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. More importantly, we teach women how men think. I am your professor. This is my classroom. Class is in session. This is where we teach the tenets of Like is 101. Every once in a while, it's a good idea to reinforce the tenets of Like is 101, even for your professor's own benefit. Sometimes your professor needs to be reminded of the basic tenets of Like is 101. Because over the years, your professor has screwed up sometimes. That's where these rules came from, by making every mistake in the book. And every time your professor makes a mistake, every time he falls off the wagon, even a little bit, he resolves to rediscover his inner a-hole. And that is what I am doing now. I am rediscovering my inner a-hole, preparing to be even more of a jerk in the future. Treating women like crap because they love it and they come back for more. The basic tenets of like is 101, we are jerks, we are a-holes, we're proud of it. We wear names like that like a badge. We know that the main reason for going on a date is to get laid. Not to have scintillating conversation. Not to discuss politics. Not to drink a frappuccino. Not to watch a DVD. No, no. We're going out with you to get laid. We're not here to find our next wife or our next girlfriend. We're not here to fall in love. We are here to get sex. That's it. We're jerks, we're a-holes, and we are proud. Like us 101 students, don't spend more than $40 on a date. Zero is optimum. Spending more money will not make her want to have sex with you. She's already decided when she put an extra pair of panties in her purse. No point spending any more money on her than you have to. Like as 101 students do not date single mothers, we believe in the three strikes, you're outlaw. You do not put out the first three dates, you are out! Done. Like as 101 students do not impregnate women, we do not give women money, gifts, we do not make their car payments, we do not donate sperm to them, none of it. None of it. Like as 101 students know that the reason for going on a date is to pay for your complete and undivided attention. The minute you answer that cell phone when we're out with you, we get up and leave. And I want to tell you something, girls. You're not fooling anybody with this tactic. Ever had this tactic when you're out with somebody? You're out with somebody. The phone rings, and then they say the following. Oh, it's, they say it to the person on the phone. Oh, it's so noisy in here. I'm going to go outside for a minute. You're not fooling anybody. And you never did. That's a tactic women love to use when they are juggling men. When they're out with one man and the phone rings, they love to say, oh, it's noisy in here. I'm going to go outside. See, I've gotten it from both ends. I have been out with a chick who said, oh, it's too noisy in here, and took a phone call outside. And I have also been on the telephone calling a chick when she's out with another guy and had her say that to him, oh, it's so noisy in there, I'm going to go outside. Yeah. Got a little word of advice for you girls. If it's that noisy, why are you answering the telephone when you're out with a guy? Why? Why? That should be a little clue. If it's too noisy to hear the person on the telephone, you probably shouldn't be on the phone. Think about that. Like as 101 students don't want to waste time, energy, or money on some dumb broad. Her basic purpose is to be a human toilet, a sperm depository. That is her purpose, boys. Never forget that. Never be swayed by a chick. Because when it gets right down to it, 
She has what you want. It's poon. You have what she wants. Money. It's an ongoing war. She wants you to pay for everything. You want to get laid. She wants to get the highest price for her services that she can. It's sad, isn't it? I'm cynical, aren't I? It's based on experience. It's based on women taking an ice pick and putting it through my heart and the hearts of everybody who listens to this show. Every guy out there has had a chick take that ice pick and ram it through his heart. Everyone. Oh, they've got their explanations and their rationalizations. But the bottom line is that they do whatever they want to do while they're busy trying to monitor your behavior. Trick is, don't make your behavior monitorable. Do whatever the hell you want. In fact, don't fall in love with any of these chicks. Who cares what they're doing or who they're doing? The problem is when you start to care who they're going out with. That's my point. If she was nothing more than a booty call whose ass you were tapping, you wouldn't care who was doing her the other days when you're not there. Who cares? Even your professor has gotten dragged into caring about people who ultimately put a nice pick in his heart. Your professor will not be letting that happen again. Now, if you are looking for ways to avoid relationships, avoid commitment, avoid marriage, if you are looking for a way to simply get laid the shortest distance between two points, none of that blah, 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 my boss, my cat, Fluffy, blah, 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 blah. If, if that's what you're looking to do, your professor is here to help. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM, 1-800-5800-866. He says, you know, you haven't had any backbone the entire time we've been together. And I said, you know what? It's time that I started acting like a man and show some balls, and I'm dumping you. And I have you to thank. <laughs> oh, I love that. It's Likas 101 on the Tom Likas Show. Like his show, like his 101. I am your professor at 1 800 5 800 Tom. Jeanette on the Tom Like his show. Hello. Hello. What's yeah. up? <laughs> yes. What's up, Tom? No, not much. Just the, the ratings, my paycheck. You get the idea. <laughs> well, I just wanted to tell you something. Um, you know how you may talk. Guys got to pay everything. First of all, dear, that word, I don't know how unsophisticated or uneducated you are. I'm that sorry. word cannot be used on the air. I'm sorry, Tom. Well, you know how you were talking about guys got to pay everything? I just wanted to let you know that I was pitching in a bunch of cash with my ex-boyfriend. I paid millions with him. I paid almost everything. But I just it just tripped me out how you said that. It really tripped me out. And Why? I got stabbed like, with an ice pick, too, in my heart, but... Well, the point is, they were going to get stabbed uh, with an ice pick. Uh, what is the point of uh, spending money for that privilege? Huh. But he, he called me back, though. He's on the other line. So I don't know what's going down now. But I don't know. I got real butt hurt, and I pitched in a lot. I don't know. I don't know what to do, Tom. What, what do you mean you don't know what you don't know what to do about what? Well, he's he's on the other line now. He's on the other line, and yeah, I know and, he's listening. And well, I still love him. <laughs> and what do you think I should do? You think I should stay with him or what? Pitching all that cash still? I don't know, dear. I frankly, at your age, you should not have a serious relationship to begin with. Huh. Well, I don't know. There's a lot of problems with stuff. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say. I just, I'm one of the few girls that did pitch in a lot of cash. So, that's it. All right. Well, that Can you was, take me uh, out the bong head or what? All right, sure. Why not? This is Neil on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Neil. Well, Tom, I'm uh, 
Definitely not a student of 101. Uh, I tried to call you a couple years ago, and I know you would have reamed me a new one. And uh, I thought I did things better. But my wife, uh, 20 years ago, right before we got married, she, uh, her boyfriend was six months in jail for beating her up, and she slept with him, picked him up from jail right before our wedding, and uh, told me. And I, kept, and I kept with the wedding. And uh, then the first year we were married, she... Uh, had an affair with a friend of mine, my golf buddy, and got pregnant. And uh, I said, well, if you get an abortion, I will uh, stay married. And then 10 years later, she had an affair with another friend and broke up that marriage. And then that was in 94. And then in February of this year, she uh, found out she was corresponding with her old boyfriend again for two years. And then in April, she said she wanted to stay married. So I went and redone all of her diamonds. And spent about five grand, and in March she had met this guy at my my daughter's uh, awards thing. And Saturday night I caught her with him, and uh, I checked this out. I did the thing I was thought would be smart, and you guys should take note of this. I went in my house, and I thrashed some of her stuff, and I cut up her panties and her bras and her shirts, and I couldn't cut her jeans, so I put three piles, three pairs of jeans in the driveway, and I threw gas on them and lit them, and... I got arson of the first degree and domestic violence, thrown in jail, and a $50,000 bond. Are you serious? I'm in Seattle, buddy, and that's and wow. I never got... This is why I warn you guys, that's the problem with getting married in the first place. Yeah. I tell you, and I can't see my... She put a... She went down, and she, they said when I went up in arraignment to get out, the prosecutor says I thrashed the whole house with a baseball bat, and, uh, and, I, and I was... Uh, the fire was close to a vehicle. It was my vehicle, and it wasn't that close. But I don't even get to say my side of the story, and so they put that big bond on me. And then she went down the next day and put a 14-day res uh, restraining order on me. And um, right now, I have no contact with kids or my wife, and I can't go to my house. And she had already packed up all my clothes the next day, and my sister went up there to get some work clothes, and the house was cleaned up. If I would have thrashed the whole house, I mean... Tom, it's unbelievable. Well, so what are you going to do now? Just stay there? I no, no, I can't go back. And um, oh, thank so God you know, they got well, they, they 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 threw you out, and you can't come back. Well, I can. Oh, I have to. They gave me a court date on the seventeenth with the restraining order, and then she'll see what they'll see what she says then. But she's afraid I'm going to burn the house. I wouldn't go to jail for her. I always told her because last year she hit me with a. Uh, a uh, candlestick three times across the back, and she went to jail for two days. And she's really pretty, and they called her Bambi, and they transferred her over to Kent Regional Justice, and she didn't even see a judge. The prosecution said, yeah, she's not that violent, and let her go. No classes, no nothing. <laughs> Look at that. Well, again, you know, um, I, I completely feel your pain. Having been a victim of... Uh, a domestic violence accusation at one time, having spent a night in jail myself. And uh, here you are, of course, you have been uh, provoked. And uh, there's no penalty for what she does, only for what you do. That's pretty much the way that works. This is uh, another example of why there is no benefit to a man to get married. Too late for you to do anything about it, but a good lesson to all the other guys out there. Thanks for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Clint on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yeah, hey, Tom. Hey. Uh, I, had a, I had a question for you about the uh, the $40 rule. Yeah. Um, I, I'm just kind of wondering how you do that. How do you adhere to that if, uh, you know, if a lot of your tastes are, are more expensive than that, and so you may want, you know, company when you're going out on a date. When I want company to go to yeah. expensive restaurants, I take sure. friends. Like guys? Yeah. Okay, and you just leave the girls behind? Correct. At what point do you meet up with them later to get laid and stuff? Well, that's what you tell them. You say, what time are you having dinner tonight? They tell you, and you say, okay, let's hook up about 10. Huh, that's nice. <laughs> that's okay, how you I do another, it. I, I, I have another question. By this the way, I do have finer tastes, and I can afford going to great restaurants and drinking great wine. Uh -huh. I'm not wasting that on some broad. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Um... I, I have kind of another question. This one, I've I've been a guy that's adhered to your, uh, you know, your rule system uh, a lot over the years, and then I've seemed to like relapse off of it. And uh, originally, I mean, it kind of came from my dad. I was lucky to have a, 
my, my real dad gave me a lot of great advice growing up. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, I fit the model of a lot of the things that work under that in, in that, uh, I mean, I make good money and, uh, you know, I've always just kind of naturally had a good, good air for just, and I guess, but unfortunately for some reason I relapse over and I, I don't know. I mean, it, it, like, like it, it's like, um, you know, at some point I want to, uh, hang out with this chick, or I want to, uh, you know, I want to spend more time. I, I, I'll believe that they're really cool. You know, for whatever reason, it's like they're doing all the things. They're putting up with whatever your stuff is, letting me travel wherever I want, you know, uh, no questions, you know, no BS, really. Mostly because I'm finding they know I'll tell them to beat it if they ask the questions. So then we get to this level where all of a sudden I'm kind of going, okay, you know, she does all this stuff. Maybe she's like a pretty legit chick, and you start wandering around for company, but then they start feeling like they're testing you. Next thing you want to do, no, they want to test your range and see, like, you know, your resolve, if you still have the ball to get rid of them. And what do you do about that? And what the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> well, uh, put it this way. Uh, the biggest problem guys have is they start developing feelings for chicks. Uh -huh. They start feeling sorry for them, or they start feeling like they're in love with them, or whatever. There you go. You need to resist that resolutely. Okay, just you just remember that it sucks. Or I mean, Rel relationships suck. What What do you think about at some point? You know, I mean, I, of course, I know you. You know, you've been married, and and, and you know, you've been in other marriages. And do, do you just think it's best to just not get married ever, no matter what? Put it this way: I don't see a benefit for a man to get married. Do you? Not legally at all. In fact, I talked a lot about that. I definitely don't see legally. There's no benefit. Period. Legally, esoterically, they're, they're, tell me what the benefits are. Well, the only one I can think of is, you know, if you want to have kids and you don't want them to be, you know, bastardized or looked down upon publicly because of, you know, something that, because they're, they're out of wedlock or something like that, you know. And? So that's about the only good reason I could think of. Well, that, that, you know what? I agree with you. If you insist on having children. That's okay. the one good reason. And the other one is if you're with somebody who needs a green card. Right. <laughs> so, so, on the, so on the children one, you know, let's say you do, you do want to have them. And I really am not in a hurry to have that. But with that in mind, how is it that you kind of make that transition from, uh, you know, I mean, that's a pretty major transition from I really don't want you to talk to me at all other than some random awesome debauchery, which I love, you know, um, to like, okay, I pretty much know if I have kids with you that me sleep with anyone else is just stupid because I'm going to get caught in that. Maybe who knows why I get someone else pregnant or, you know what I mean? It's just a myriad of problems. So how do you kind of make that transition and what kind of chick do you pick for that? Well, first of all, when you're ready to pick a chick to be a yeah. girlfriend, which I see you're 27, so at least you're not 25. Have you achieved your career goal, your career dream? Uh, yeah, I kind of have actually, but, but I mean, but that's not, that's not, I haven't seen everything I want to see in the world, so I'm not rushing off for it. Yeah. Well, uh, the, the bottom line is that, uh, ultimately you need to be with a chick who can, uh, who can, if you think about it, a chick who can stand to be around you, who likes it when you watch sports, who likes just sitting next to you, who likes being uh, your friend, who likes hanging out, who likes your friends, who does what you, uh, want her to do. And, and doesn't give you crap all the time. The nagging, the cajoling, the makeovers, the all of that stuff. So, and, and I totally agree. So I'm just, my, I guess my biggest question is, how in the hell do you find the difference between the ones that are just completely acting that? Because I'm sure you know that they play the part. By not like just jumping it. into a relationship after a few weeks or a couple of months. Okay, okay. Which is the like, biggest mistake guys make. So they've just got to be putting up for a long, long time before you just ever even consider that they might really feel that way. Right. Okay. Well, what kind of time frame? Just hit me with a number, maybe. At least a year. Okay. All right, Tom. That's pretty legit, man. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Uh, let's see. Scott on the Tom Likas show. Hello. All right, Jimmy. Jimmy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, what's going on, man? Not much. How you doing? No, I'm doing pretty good. That's good. All right, let's see. 
I'm going to start from the beginning, Tom. Um, when I was 16, I know that's young, but when I was 16, um, I was in school and I met a girl. And um, I was stupid at the time. had no idea who Tom Likas was. And trust me, if I did, I totally would have changed everything. But anyways, um, got with this chick. She was putting out at 16. So, I mean, felt pretty lucky at the time. You know what I mean? I felt like, you know, and then I said I got the feelings, got attached, Got um all that crap that, you know, not supposed to get. And um, so basically I got attached to this girl, and I was with her for about two and a half years. And I graduated. I got with her, got with her when I was a sophomore and um, graduated, still in the relationship. Only broke up maybe once or twice, but it wasn't very long, you know. And throughout the whole relationship, I mean, I was a good, I felt like I was a good boyfriend. And now even though, you know, there's things that she wants to complain about, I mean, girls are going to play in Period. And I thought I was a good boyfriend, but anyways, um, but after we graduated, about m- month after, I mean, she stopped putting out. Period. And this was unlike her. I mean, she never didn't put out. And so now I'm starting to get weary. Like, what's going on? You know, why is why is she acting different? She wouldn't say anything. She was still acting the exact same way towards me. She just wasn't putting out. She didn't want to. Wasn't in the mood for it. You know, all this stuff. And then I noticed she was hanging out with one of my friends a lot. So now I'm starting to get a little suspicious, you know, but they don't want to... Well, do you understand you're too young to have a girlfriend? Are, yeah, are we no, on Are we on the same wavelength here? No, totally. No, no, I'm going to get to the, that. I'm going to get to that in a second here. But I'm just going to tell you the story leading up to that. And so I started hanging out with him, and um, basically I, she, I knew she was lying to me, so I read her journal while she was asleep one day. She was sleeping on the stairs on the couch. I went up in her room. I read her freaking journal. I did not trust her. Wanted to know what she was doing. And I found out that she was cheating on me throughout the whole relationship and had no idea. I mean, six months in, when we were going out, she was cheating on me. Another six months, she was cheating me on the other guy. Then recently with one of my best friends. These girls cheated on me with three times, or three different guys and multiply with all of them. She was just being, you know, hoey. And, um, and so I didn't tell her. I didn't tell her I knew when I found out. I just... I um, told her I was going to leave right there, you know, whatever. And that night, I'm at work, and my friend calls me up and tells me he's at a party. He sees her hooking up with with um, with one, that one of my friend. And so I get off work. I go straight down there and, you know, break up with her on the spot. Tell her to call her, put her on blast, everything. It's, 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 at, his, it's at my friend. Right, this is becoming a very long story, and I'm falling asleep here. So can we get to the bottom line, please? Yeah, my bad. I'm just rambling. My bad. I mean, she's not worth it. She's a whore yeah. and a bitch, and you're too young, son, to be having a serious relationship with anybody because everybody your age is banging more than one person. That's the way it is. Right. But this is what it comes down Stop to. Stop falling in love with these bitches. No, 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 no. Trust me. Not in love no more. This is what it comes down to the fact. I don't love her no more. Don't want to be with her no more. Don't want the relationship no more. But she's continually hitting me up for booty calls, continually doing all this. No, she's being, now she's doing what she was doing with all the other guys with me now. And I keep giving in to that. But every single time. Why do you keep giving in to it? Because I'm getting late. <laughs> then, pal, are you that desperate? I'm you not, have I'm so little that. game. This is the only vagina in town. No, this is, that's my question, though. That's my question, though, Tom. Is it. Is it worth it going back to... When they treat you like crap, you kick them between the... You know, if they had balls, you'd kick them in the ball. You know what I'm talking about. Right, right. You you, you drop kick them through the uprights. That's it. Done. When they hurt you, they're gone. They're dead to you. No, I understand that. No, 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 no. I understand. I'm totally... I'm not... I mean... But you you say you understand it, but you keep having sex with this woman who screwed around on you. Yeah, I know. Lied to you. If I don't have the feelings anymore, does that mean a difference, or should I just grab my and say... No, no, this is somebody who hurt you. And so I... You gotta have some basic rules. Do you understand? Right. I understand that. All right. If someone hurts you, you don't want to be around them anymore. Right. True. You make plenty of sense. Period. Right. Find somebody else to have sex with. I nothing, but that's all... But if it... If, if it's right there in front of me and I'm not doing anything, I mean, How? that's not that's not acceptable. I should just totally say no. Correct. Okay, that makes sense. What if she, like... I don't care. No, but what if later on down the line... It doesn't matter. All right, all right. All right, man. <laughs> Stop being lazy and find some new trim. All right, man. <laughs> You're the man, Tom. <laughs>
you know, you know I'm the man. <laughs> Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. It is finally great to pay homage to the king. Thank you. The Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles, the Tom Likas Show brought to you in part by College Loan Corporation. College Loan Corporation can cut your monthly student loan payments by 50%. Just call 1-800, the number 2, college. Boys night out tomorrow night at the Riverside Municipal Auditorium. 8.30 p.m. is the time. If you uh, somehow do not uh, make it to the box office or to Ticketron today, you come on out tomorrow. There will be some tickets available when you get there. But, uh, of course, the earlier you buy the tickets, the better your seats. That, that's just how it works. Now, if you would like tickets, uh, of course, we'll tell you how to do that. Uh, I'm the MC of this show. I'm the producer. I am the major domo. You look it up. Bobby Slayton's our headliner. John DeResta, Steve Brewer. Oh, we're going to say stuff on stage. We did it last Friday in Seattle to a packed house of uh, outrageous humor and screaming guys. It's just, just an amazing evening. Call this number. Get your tickets right now. 714-740-2000. 714-740-2000. You can go to Ticketmaster.com. And, of course, the Riverside Municipal Auditorium box office. Somebody's got to tell me what's going on at that box office. Uh, of all the shows we've done, this is the largest percentage of people who walked up to the box office and bought a ticket. Over 20% go up to the box office. So either they don't own computers, don't know how to use computers, or I, I don't know. The auditorium is conveniently located. I don't know. By the way, if you are military personnel or a Southern California firefighter, show your ID, and you will get a $75 ticket for 20 bucks. You'll get a primo seat just to say thanks to you boys for all the work you do. So uh, it's Boys Night Out tomorrow night, Riverside Municipal Auditorium, 8.30 p.m. is the time. 714-740-2000 is the telephone number. You can go to Ticketmaster.com, the box office, or if you forget any of this, go to BlowMeUpTom.com. It's all there. Like us 101, 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Alex on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Alex. Hey, man, stand up the 12 with these chips and these guys, and we just work with you, man. So, so what are you doing? We have a club, and we just, you know, we talk about you, we listen to you every day, and we just, you know, we just talk about you, man. Alex, are you a 101 student at 13? Uh, definitely, man. Now, tell us some of the things you've learned here in class, Alex. I don't know, just everything, man. Everything. Really? Everything. Everything. You know, what to do with them. You know, I would have, I would have made a lot of mistakes. Yeah, and uh, are you using this information now? Yeah. I I, I, I did this girl in this group, and she's like, so hot. I understand. Well, thank you uh, so much. Uh, glad to see. You didn't learn that language in Lagos, by the way. I'll tell you that. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Valerie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. I'd like to say I think it's awesome that you're honoring the firefighters with that discount ticket. Thank you. Okay, this is, I'm, a, I'm the auntie. That's the little kid that talked to you before. My niece and nephew are that age, and some of them are in their 20s. And we got to do something about this $40 rule. It's just not enough money. Oh, yes, it is. No, I mean, okay, I think, uh, can I can't say the name of the steakhouse, but to go out for a steak dinner, I mean, going out for dinner is dining. Why would you waste a steak dinner on a broad anyway? Well, see, that's where I come in, because these young girls, young ladies, and young gentlemen like to get dressed up, go out and for the dining experience. I well, mean, guess what? If they want dining experiences, I recommend they get jobs, and then they open their purses and pay for those meals. But that's the problem. They take turns paying. Sometimes the girl pays, sometimes the guy pays. But with this 40... The guys end up paying more than half in that case. Well, now they're asking... The first thing they start out is, are you a Tom Lyka student? If they say yes, the girls say, 
No way. Uh, $40 isn't even... Well, I don't hear a lot of guys complaining. Uh, you know what? For every girl who says no, there's nine others who say yes. You but hear the guys calling in here. You hear the results. But they're supposed to be learning social graces. Not no, just... this has nothing to do with social graces. It's getting laid. But doesn't there, isn't there any more foreplay than that? No. I mean, like tossing a, a fish no. to a... To a sea otter or somebody, it's, I mean, that's how it I, I like that metaphor, tossing the fish. <laughs> but see, that's the whole I, problem. I, I knew a girl who would uh, toss me the fish. So what if they What if they uh, put out, like it's you said? It's kind of like going out of Pike Place Market. Oh, yeah, that's a wonderful place in Seattle. But yes. what about this three-date rule you have if you don't get sex in three dates? Yes. What if you get sex before the meal? Is that, I mean, you made your conquest, you move on, or how yeah. does it go from there? That's right. And you certainly don't go out to, to dinner after that. Because if you want to eat, you can go out by yourself. Why take her? Well, some people like to go out as a couple. No, but guess what? We're not talking about couples here. Okay, so what We're about... We're talking about part A fitting into part B. What about this kid that's 13 years old? All he sees women now is as getting laid or not getting laid with nothing yeah. going with it. I mean, Perfect. Be more of a package. I'm glad he's paying attention. It's more of a package than just the physical. But it's really not. Not for young men, it's not. Not for young men. So that's no. what the, that's why women get hurt so much in young girls. Boo -hoo -hoo. They fall in love, and the guys are just making a contract. Well, whose fault is it they fall in love? Well, the point is, forty dollars is just like before inflation and three dollars a gallon. No, a gallon. no, forty dollars. And, and by the way, the reason I chose forty dollars is, is when you press the fast cash button at the ATM. Oh my God! The most common amount is forty bucks. Oh my God! That's your limit right there. Fast cash, fast lay, huh? Right. <laughs> I've always wondered how you came up with the forty dollars. That's how I came up with forty bucks. So how does the three dollar gas? Uh, fit into that is there any kind of cost well no, no gas is your uh, gas is not part of the cost of a date uh, specifically uh, gas is something you have to buy regardless i'm not oh, counting so gas 40 miles to take somebody out to dinner that doesn't count in with 40 dollars uh, well, first of all, I would never drive abroad 40 miles to go out to eat, because that means I have to drive her 40 miles to get her home, and all the booze will have worn off by then. Well, she'll probably want to spend the night, don't you think? Do you no. Do, you don't do sleepovers? Oh. oh, no. You'd rather do drunk driving than sleepovers. Oh, forget about that. I don't want to be drunk. I want her drunk. Oh, I see. I thought you'd probably want her to drive so you wouldn't have to. Oh, no. I, I want her drunk so I can do whatever I want. You haven't met a lot of the feisty drunks that hang out in these bars. <laughs> well, there's some, there's some very bellicose bitches. Yeah, well, I, I don't drunk. date bellicose bitches, dear. So how do you know when before they get drunk if they're going to be the warring wench or the? Most of them are bellicose before they take a single drink. Yeah, but it seems to come out more when they're drunk. So you're just yeah. Well, yeah. Any chick who uses a, 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 an abnormal amount of obscenity, for example, vulgarity. Uh -huh. Chances are she just gets louder and drunker as she goes. Right. You can usually tell. Yes. Obnoxious. Yes. Okay, so I'm Auntie and it's coming up to the weekend, and I think they should have $100 for the weekend date. Well, guess what? They'd be wasting their time and money because a chick is going to do you whether it's $20, $40, or $1,000. Yeah, so why 40 That's what I'm saying. Why wouldn't it be like... Because that's what comes out of the ATM, I already told you. <laughs> Yeah, laugh it up there, Grandma. Send us an email. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. We'll see you tomorrow night. Boys Night Out at the Riverside Municipal Auditorium for tickets. Call now, 714-740-740. 2000. The Tom Likas Show.